Hey, we back, we back, we back. And we gonna get, we gonna get into ask MB anything y'all want, man. I'm gonna answer. I got a confession, man. A lot of y'all, I have an addiction, right? I have an addiction. A lot of y'all think it's this, right? A lot of y'all think this is my addiction. Hold on, let me sit for a minute. But this is not my addiction. I can put that down. I can leave that alone. My addiction, it got them 4P Popeye chicken. <laughs> you feel me, nigga? My, nigga, hold up for a minute. Nigga, I, if I can't have no Popeye chicken three, three times a week, I get to scratch myself, get the itching. Nigga, I'm addicted to Popeye chicken, man. I'm addicted to Popeye. Hold on, one more time. Nigga, I'm addicted to Popeye's chicken. I'll meet you later. Alright, so now we can talk. Now we got that out of the way. My addiction is not. It's that four piece. You already know my name and my credit card number by heart. <laughs> Mr. Bennett, I already know what you want. Okay, cool. That's my addiction. Popeye, hold up. Can we go to a commercial break? All right. Let's get to it, man. Ask me any question y'all want. Now that we got that out of the way, my addiction is not this. My addiction is Popeye's chicken. All right. Let's get to know NB. Ask me anything y'all want. Let's go. I'm going to read it, and I'm going to answer the question. Let's have some fun. Get to know me. This is it, it, about right now getting enough. We ain't got nothing else to do. Get to know me right now. Dark me to white me. Love that question. I don't do legs like that. You feel what I'm saying? I like female legs. But I don't, the chicken legs, I don't know. It's just something about chicken legs, man. I don't, but dark, I like thighs. I like dark thighs. Around 8 or 9 o'clock. <laughs> Let me start. Let me start. Get out of there. No. Anyway, no, I love, I like white meat, but I like it mixed. I like mixed. I like the, I like the thighs. But I do like my breast. I, no man, I'm out of there again. I like breast. I like the thighs. You keep your lead. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I definitely enjoy Popeyes. Never been married. I'm searching right now. Shit. I'm trying to find <laughs> for she might be under me. I never been married. Definitely want a wife though. That's my 20, 2020, I mean, 2022 goal. I mean, kids, but I feel like it's a dating site. All right, but I, I put myself out. No kids, Miss Barnes. No kids. Zero. I just want to let y'all know. My addiction ain't this. I can put that shit down. Nigga, my addiction is the goddamn pop. I'll be right back. My addiction to Popeye's chicken spicy. <laughs> Alright, what? I'm a Virgo. My limit ain't I don't limit myself. If you 18 and up, somebody, somebody uh daughter can get it. You know what I'm saying? I really don't have no age limit because I I look young, but I can also I can do the young, but I also do the old too. You feel me? I got the best of both worlds. You feel me? So yeah. Yeah. So age age limit don't matter for me. 18 and up. 18 and up. Yeah. 40 years old. Yeah. South Beach Toe, man. That was my first acting debut. We shot the world with that one. <laughs> the world didn't even get it. They be like, is that Norris? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> we doing big things out here in these streets. Yeah, for real. 65, you got to be down there in, in the gym every day. You can't have no traces of having kids. Your stomach got to be whoop, flat. And then I might give your ass a, 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 a chance at 65, especially if you can let me use your AARP card and all your benefits. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. When you got girls that's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, <laughs> it ain't going to work. <laughs> cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. It might be good as friendships, but other, other than that, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Beautiful girl. But cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Out there with the damn birds and the roosters. Cock a doo doo doo. Bit. Fuck you doing? Let the, let the roosters do that. You out here doing it too? They my friends though. Girl, it's time for you. <laughs> it, it, it's time for you to go. 
What shows am I looking to do next? Uh, Miss Williams. I'm actually on Blight Lightning. I'm on Dynasty. I done did a lot of shows, but this coronavirus is stopping us. Stuff from, so I got to catch it. I, I did a lot of shows this year. A lot of shows last year, but they, they, they airing this year. So, yeah. Stay tuned to your Netflix and stuff, man. I'm, I'm on now. I'm on now. I'm on now. I just got to find myself. What are you looking for in a woman? The three things I really look for now is like your mind. I want a woman that has a business mind because I'm a business man. I also want trust and loyalty. I don't want love. I want love. I want you to be loyal to me more because you can fall out of love, but loyalty lasts forever. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, so for real. And if you got goddamn keys, make sure them motherfuckers is respectable. Because I got about 15 goddamn step that a year trophies. You know what I'm saying? I got step that a uh, little my trophy. I don't know how I'm going to do that with two hands. But anyway, I'm good with kids. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let me put this link right here quick. Because everybody, people flirting, but they ain't supporting. I mean, I know this is, this is, uh, this is, uh, ask, ask anything you want to ask me, but. At the same time, the people who were actually asking me stuff is not supported me. It's T-O-R-E. Go get you a shirt, and then we can talk. Uh, boom, pin, bam. Go to my website, get you a shirt, then we can expand that conversation. From the beginning, and I was performing at the age of, um, I was performing at the age of four. My dad was in the military, so my dad would have me, all his military friends, my dad and my mom would have everybody coming around me. I was Michael Jackson, moonwalking, breakdancing. I was... I've been a performer since four years old, so this is really natural to me. You feel me? This is not, not something that just came. It was actually God-given. Keep the questions coming. And I don't care if they rated R or whatever. Ask me anything y'all want. But definitely don't ask me to marry y'all on this goddamn. I, I, I think I deserve a little better goddamn proposal than that. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, uh, not on live. Not on live. Shut up on my body. Got me trip, trip. <laughs> ask me any question y'all want. Let's go. Let's go. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just getting started, y'all. I really want to be transparent with y'all in the corona uh, atmosphere. And this is the time now for you all, you the people, you the fans, to really get to know NB. What is your dream vacation? Right now, at the house. <laughs> in my room. That's, the, that's dreamy as fuck right now with corona out here. But now, nah, I always wanted to go to Jamaica. I went to kindergarten in Hawaii. So let me explain. My dad was in the military. My um, homeroom teacher was named Miss Hiranaka. My homeroom teacher. And uh, my music teacher was Tutu Janet in Hawaii. I, had, I was in kindergarten in Hawaii. All right. What's your favorite food? Come on now. You know that steak and shrimp. It's happening. Steak and shrimp. Make me happy with steak and shrimp. What's my favorite kind of dog? God damn it. No dog, really, but... That bitch gotta be as small as hell, and then he, he can't be no threat to me. He can bark all day, but if you got big jaws and you like to bite and shit, you stay the fuck away from me, bro. Stay the fuck away from me, bro. I will lure your ass with kibbles and bits out the door. You know what I'm talking about? But a little dog. I ain't really with the big dogs unless I, unless I grew up with you. If I grew up with you and you my homeboy, I fuck with you. But if you already be nigga, and I got to get to know you, nigga, no, nigga, I don't, don't, don't want to know you, nigga. No, I don't want to know you, nigga. You too big for me to know you. What's my favorite liquor? Um, Y'all already know vodka. Vodka. I'm a vodka man. Any type of vodka. Vodka. You know what I mean? Yeah, vodka. What kind of beeswax I use for my dreams? I'm finna show y'all. Hold up. <laughs> I'm giving all these commercials. They might, they might start paying me, goddamn. Alright. So my favorite beeswax is... This is not a beeswax. It don't get. It don't leave no. You know what I'm saying? If you get your hair done, it don't leave no goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Marks, streaks, grease, none of that shit. It lock you up. Boom, right there. Boom. Yo, what kind of toothpaste do I use? Goddamn, the one that say the shit that say keep your tooth, keep your teeth. <laughs> Cause this fluoride is really taking niggas' teeth out their mouth. They be brushing their teeth every day. I was like, oh shit. I got off the teeth, nigga. I ain't trying to get them type of teeth. That toothpaste, I like like teeth that I like two toothpaste that keep your teeth in your mouth and don't burn your don't don't, don't burn you got them lip and shit like that. Light. I like toothpaste light. I, I'm, I'm naturally lotion, nigga. I'm naturally lotion, nigga. I, I get out the shower, boom. I don't need no damn lotion, nigga. I'm already ashy. <laughs> you 
don't ask your Larry cousin, nigga. For real, I don't use no lotion. I'm, I already got the drip. Shut up on my body, got me drip. I'm already drip, drip. What's my favorite breakfast food? Oh, man. Look, boy, I like that. I I just found out that Burger King has the best double sausage with cheese in a croissant. I ain't never had no double sausage. McDonald's, y'all, y'all, y'all fucking up. Y'all, mm. I'm going to Burger King if I'm going to get mine. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the meat look real. It don't look like dog. It don't look like cat. It look real. How, how much a watch costs? Okay. This watch costs 800 800 This watch costs 800 I love playing cards. The spades is what? Nigga, I got by fire right now. Hold it. What you talking about? I love cards. I love playing cards. Spades, definitely. And tongue. Did you eat Popeye's chicken today? Huh. Now that you asked. Four piece. <laughs> That's the realest question that I'm going to ask today. I don't have women that love me. I don't have women that love me and I didn't understand the love that they, they the, how they love me. I didn't understand it. And I also loved women to the point to where my ultimate, my love was way ultimate than their love. You understand what I'm saying? So I overloved and got loved. My love, when people, when women love me, I didn't, I don't understand it. So the women that have loved me in my life, I didn't understand it at the time. But the, when I understood the love, now I'm the one that's loving hard and I'm not getting no love back or just very little. If that's to answer your question. I'm really enjoying this, man. You know, just, and we, we in this coronavirus epidemic. So, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you want to get to know the person that you, you, you know, you always see posting. Because, be honest with you, Facebook and YouTube and the world, we, we don't know each other. Some of y'all know me, but we don't know each other. So this is my opportunity for y'all to get to know me. You know what I'm saying? When I'm going back to the studio, when Corona leaves the studio, Corona been Corona done dropped about a hundred albums right now. So if one long as Corona in that bitch, I'm, I'm gonna let Corona record her album. But then I'm I'm, I'm out of here. You feel me? Then I go back with Corona. Get out of there. But she in a no fuck that. Corona got it. She got it. How many songs have you written since? I wrote a whole album, Marisa. I got I got twenty songs ready to go. Twenty songs ready to go. Out of here. R&B rapping, love songs. Bitch, you cheated on me, goddamn. Bitch, you got a baby on me, too. <laughs> All kind of songs. Ready to go. Ready to go. What's your greatest fear? post corona Dying alone. Miss Brown, dying alone. No kids and all my families in South Georgia. That's a real question. I love that question. Yeah, my greatest fear is dying alone. Like my neighbor did. My neighbor passed. You know? He died alone. He was dead for two days. Nobody didn't know he was in there dead. No family, no name. So my biggest fear, because I don't have no kids, I ain't married. My biggest fear is dying alone. That's my biggest fear. So far, y'all questions have been really, really good, man. I mean, I, I must admit, but y'all ain't got deep. Y'all ain't got deep into the soul, deep to the spirit. I'm really here to answer all your questions. And I see a lot of artists don't do this. I guarantee you they're going to start doing this shit now. They're going to see, when I put this shit on YouTube, they're going to be like, oh, I'm finna do that shit now. I'm finna do it now. Nigga. Yeah, another one I'm stole from. It's so funny you asked that question. It was booking agents that was trying to get at me. This corona don't shut everything down. I was ready to go on tour. I was ready to just say, let's get it. I was ready. Corona don't stop your, your favorite artist from going on tour. Your favorite artist in the house right now. Probably on live, talk to his fans. So, after this whole thing clears up and it's really contained, then yes, 2021, my album, I'm gonna release my album at the end of the year. So yes, I'll definitely be going on tour at the end of the year. I have some of these songs that I written and wrote. I have never performed. Drinks on me. I probably performed it a couple times, but not as much as I should. Of course, I eat fruit. My favorite fruit is mango, peaches. Pineapple, yeah, just to name a few. How many songs have I written, period? How many songs have I written, period? Maybe 400, maybe 500, four or 500 songs. Of course, you know, I can go from 
What's going on with this picture? What's going on with this world? What's going on with these black people getting shot like a squirrel? Every time I turn on the TV, black man shot pop and he gone. Went to the store to buy Skittles and talked to a chick on the phone. Then for Victor to erase the stereotype of the hoodie. But the clan can march on any state ground and it's good. It's up to the land of the free. In the home of the bread, with the Jim Crow designed to keep a black man in sled. Fuck the minimum wage. That shit don't bail on that bill. Then I go up. I go up. Step the finish club with two hands on my shit. One hand on my moolah, other hand on my D. I'm looking for me the baddest bitch. Excuse me, I mean a stripper. I'm not nothing like T-Pain, but I be loving me some strippers. So I can give you certain dynamics of music. You know what I'm saying? We go for the, the politics of the world to the strip club. To the I'm sorry. You know what I mean? So yeah, we can we give you diverse. Do I sing better in the morning or night? Baby, I, at late nights as I watched your back, then we made some good love. Listen to some Marvin Gaye all night long. So I would say in the afternoon, you yeah, feel me? <laughs> in beat. All right, so I uh, I was on Ballers with HBO with The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, right? On Ballers, season one of Ballers on HBO. I wasn't starstruck because I'm a professional. I don't get starstruck. But at the same time, he showed us so much love to rock. I, I, anybody asked me who's your favorite person to, to be around or, or act or be in the presence of, it was to rock Dwayne Johnson. Method Man is also a, actually dope too. I'm on the show with him as well. So yeah, I would say the rock and Method Man. But the Latoya Lucky is dope too. She's an actress too as well. Some of these people... I mean, Mel Gibson's dope. Mel Gibson's dope. Contrary to his belief, I was on a movie with Mel Gibson. I don't know if it's going to come out, but yeah, Mel Gibson is dope too. Yes, uh, my mom my mom dragged me. No, no. She dragged me to church. Yes. I sung in the choir. I was uh, in my chorus class in high school. I was in advanced chorus. Um, yeah. Uh, gospel's always been. I used to be at, you know, uh, High Tower Memorial Temple with uh, Mr. Thomas as the uh, lead director. I used to watch him sing. Henry Thomas. I used to watch him sing. And so as a little child, I used to get just watching how, how amazing he, his voice was doing all the stuff he was doing. And I was really learning from him. So yeah, Henry Thomas, man. High Tower Memorial Temple back in the day. Yeah. And so yeah, that's how I, I, I trained my voice. In the church, yeah. As I got them, look at that goddamn Popeye's fried chicken. I, I'm telling you, that's my addiction. It's not this. It's this. Back to what we were talking about, though. Hmm? What we were talking about, though? Hmm? Everything good? Everything all good? She cold, though. I don't give a fuck. And shout out to everybody who buying shirts, too. I see them damn shirts. If y'all want to get that Drake's on me shirt, man, it's pinned right there. Click on that thing and go straight to the store, man. You'll see everything that I got for sale. So I see a lot of people going on. And I see my um, PayPal looking stupid right now. That shit. Ding, 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 ding. I did a collaboration with uh, Laputi. I did a, I did a collaboration with um, Country Keith. I did a collaboration with Star Breezy. I did a collaboration with, with a few. With a few. With a few. I was one of the, I wanted the guys that was trying to bring everybody together as far as the music, the, the rap rap scene. I'm Star Breezy, he was part of my group. That's the reason why he blowed. Um, but Pootie, Keith, Keith did his own thing as far as the gospel. But I brought him out of retirement. But Pootie, I'm the one that made him known now. So I, I think I did. And then Patrick P. Townsend, Patrick Townsend, uh, Croak, T-Rex. Um, I did a lot. I did a lot for the city, man, as far as music-wise. But a lot of people don't have the same drive you have. So if they don't have the same drive you have, then you can't force people to want to be who you are. I, I know my vision. And I'm not going to let nobody bring me down. I'm trying to take us up. So that's it. It's a time period of rappers in our city. And you got, and, and, and I was one, I was one for 10 to 15 years. You had, you had S. Wayne for a little period of time. Then you had Norris, NV for a period of time, with, with a long period of time. And then now you got the young guys coming up on, uh, under us. But Uncle, Uncle Time's over me. I watched him. Of course, me and David best friends. Dave be on my live sometimes. Dave comments on stuff. Dave is, man, Dave, that's my, 
Man, but fuck it. That's my nigga. <laughs> Even though she he a white man. That's my nigga. Um, Bernice untold story that I only told a few people. Hold up, hold up. I only told a few people this. But when we was filming South Beach Talk, Bernice did not like me. Period. I ain't did nothing to this woman. Nothing. But I was a dreadhead, just like she was. And she was just... And then I had plenty of dreadheads on the show. I don't know why she just felt so... The first, you know, when they pulled, you know, when they got me out the car, the first episode, the first part of that was Bernice pulling me out by my dreads. I stopped the whole filming on that. I said, no, we not doing that. Y'all, I'm going to pull my hair out for real, like real talk. Like we ain't doing that now. They wanted, they wanted to make me look like a sucker. I said, let me get out the car by myself. I'm walking off this set. So when I got out the car, hey, hey, man, hey, man, y'all calm down, calm down, man. I gave him man twenty stack my dumb. When I did that, but but let them if they ever show the the other real, Bernice pulled me out the car. I wrote my script. They even had me having they, they they had me saying corny shit. Excuse my language, white person stuff. No, nigga, I'm, hey, bro, yeah, yeah, man. I, I I I improvised. People don't realize that I improvised my whole scene. Yo, I did that. I wrote that. They said yo. They, they sent it to California. They approved it. J-Lo at the time was the executive producer of South Beach Toast. So she approved it. Like, I like that. That's natural. It feels natural. They wanted me to have some corny ass lines. No, no. So, uh, Dave, to answer your question, Dave is still my homie to this day. As big as my heart is, and, 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 and my mama the same way. I think I get it from my mama, but everybody can't, everybody can't ride the journey that you ride, but you know, deep down inside of my heart, I want everybody to win too as well. That's just how I, my makeup is. That's just how I was brought up. You know, each one teach one. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I think that you can't out here be doing great while somebody else is not doing so good. That shit bothers me. I remember one time I said I want if I if I had the money, I would take care of all the homeless people, get them off the street. That's just how type of heart I got. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Interesting you should say that. I was been working with a gospel um, artist. Um, she's a female artist. When Corona get out the studio, I'm going to shock y'all. That's all I'm going to say. Yes, I can dance. I can dance. Very good. I can dance on the dance floor, and I also can dance in the bedroom. Can I moonwalk? Yes, I can moonwalk. What's your favorite song to sing? Um, my favorite song to sing is Love. Love. My music soul child. I love y'all. I love everybody who tuned in tonight and asked me all the questions. It's your boy in B Man. I'm out. Hey, I beat you from a distance, I scope you because I'm a gunner. Can I buy you a drink at the bar?